Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pawtuckaway State Park in New Hampshire, which is this tiny little circular range of mountains. It essentially uh, looks like a volcano when viewed from above on a map, which is highly interesting because it's been a while since there's been any volcanic activity in New Hampshire. This particular activity dates back from like, I don't know, far before anyone can remember, like 150, 200 million years ago. Uh, basically some magma found its way through the crust and intruded upwards and that intrusion is what I am walking up right now. Over time this intrusion got eroded to the surface after all those years of erosion. For now I'm just gonna be walking the entire crater rim so to speak. Now I'm going up like Maloon Hill and the plan is to go around the entire crater in, I think, anti-clockwise fashion. Yes, first to South Mountain, then to North Mountain, uh, and then back to where I started. Nice boulder at the top of Maloon, Maloon Hill. I think it is called, but what a great day to do this in the middle of December. I am cold. What is it about me and what is wrong with me that I would see like a circle on the map, a perfectly circular formation on the map? that I would want to drive an hour and a half and come check it out. I don't know. I don't know. I have some sort of malfunction. I do agree. See those hills in the trees? Uh, that's the general direction in which I'm going in a circular fashion to explore this giant circle in New Hampshire. That's the plan I have for today. Let's see how it goes. The most satisfying thing about winter hiking is playing with ice formations like this. Crunch, pretty crunch. So far the hiking uh, I would describe it like walking through a radioactive exclusion zone. Uh, it's as if a dog with uh, three eyes is going to appear anytime from amongst these bushes here. This is a very cool tree that has grown almost straight out of this rock. Okay, so there is some pretty great stuff up here that is currently snapping me out of my seasonal depression. So very highly good that that is happening. Some beautiful ferns growing out of this boulder, seemingly out of nothing. Um, and also just the interplay of the boulders with the trees is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, some good things happening here in the mysterious eye of New Hampshire. Currently almost at the top of South Mount Pawtuckaway here. Wow. Okay. Really nice view from the top of South Pawtuckaway. 
uh, you see some hills in the foreground that way. So in the distance is North Pawtuckaway. That's where I'm going next. And in the middle is appropriately named Middle Pawtuckaway. Meanwhile, there is a fire tower at the top of South Pawtuckaway, it seems. So let's go climb it. Uh, okay. As little flurries fall, I make my way to the fire tower. Not much of a fire t risk today. round pond delightfully frozen over round pond it's very easy to come across beautiful rocky ponds like this in New Hampshire you just have to stumble around a little bit <laughs> just passed round pond there's more bouldery magical landscape Just a straight rock cliff. Huh? Woo! Some echo. It's so quiet. I come to you from the summit of North Paw Tuckaway, which I didn't know, but now I know, is the higher of the two summits. So this is the highest point on Paw Tuckaway Mountain, I suppose, uh, north and south. It's just south has a better view because of the uh, fire tower, I suppose, 
And there are some viewpoints on north also, just not the most amazing view from the summit, although in winter without the leaves on the trees, it's, it's pretty good. Um, in the summer though, these trees would have leaves and it'd block your view probably. But yeah, this is it. This is the summit of North Pawtuckaway and it's a relatively not so long hike back to the car. So this was it. I am signing off now. I have successfully explored this ring-shaped anomaly in New Hampshire and it's pretty awesome. Big trees, big boulders, just a really nice hiking experience here.